Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello everyone, welcome to second POC statistics online classes. In the previous class, we had discussed about binomial and Bernoulli distributions. Today we are going to discuss the topic is Poisson distribution. Okay, we know that the parameter of binomial distribution is n and p. And when binomial distribution tends to Poisson distribution, when binomial distribution tends to Poisson distribution, okay, if n is large and p is small then binomial distribution tends to Poisson distribution. It means the binomial Poisson distribution is limiting form of binomial distribution. It means the mean of binomial distribution is equal to the mean of Poisson distribution. We know that the mean of binomial distribution is NP and mean of Poisson distribution is lambda. Okay, for example, uh, in the last class, previous class we discussed about that that is in a college 60% of the students are boys. In a random sample of 5 students find probability of getting 2 boys. Okay, now uh, we know that binomial distribution tends to pose on distribution when if n is large and p is p means probability is probability of success is very small. Okay, see this is a, this is example for binomial distribution. Here given in a random sample of 5 students. It means what? Here n is 5. Then what is x? x is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Because why, why x range is 0 to 5? Because here n is 5. Then we need to calculate here probability of getting 2 boys. See here n is small and p also small. If the question is like this, in a random sample of 500 students, find probability of 2. See here the 500, here n is large. So here n is 500, then x takes the value 0, 1, 2, up to 500. Then we need to calculate probability terms, that is probability of getting 2 boys. See here n is very large and p is very small. In this case, instead of binomial distribution, we can use Poisson distribution. Okay, now the definition of Poisson distribution is yeah, definition of Poisson distribution is if x is a discrete random variable discrete random variable with probability mass function that is p of x is equal to e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x divided by x here x takes the value 0, 1, 2 up to infinity because here n is very large and here lambda is always positive. Then x is a Poisson variate and the distribution the distribution of x is Poisson distribution. Okay. Now, we know that here x takes the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, now, I will 
find p of x is equal to 0. See here p of x is e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power x divided by x and here if p of 0 is e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power x, here it is 0, so x is equal to 0. So in the place x, here it is 0 divided by x factorial, x factorial that is 0 factorial. This is equal to e to the power minus lambda as it is lambda to the power 0 is 1 and divided by 0 factorial is 1. So p of x is equal to 0 is e to the power minus lambda. Okay, Next if p of x is equal to 1 that is e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x. Here it is p of x is equal to 1. So in the place x here it is 1 divided by x factorial that is 1 factorial. Okay. This is equal to e to the power minus lambda as it is. So lambda to the power 1 in the sense lambda only divided by 1 factorial that is 1. So probability of x is equal to 1 is e to the power minus lambda into lambda. Okay, Next. If probability of x is equal to 2, then it is e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power a. In the place x here it is 2. So, 2 divided by 2 factorial. Okay, this is equal to e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power 2 divided by 2 factorial is 2. Okay, next, if x is equal to 3, then the formula is e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power x that is 3 divided by 3 factorial. This is equal to e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power 3 divided by 6, 3 factorial is 6. Okay. This tabular representation is Poisson distribution with the parameter lambda. Okay. This is tabular representation is Poisson distribution with the parameter lambda. So then definition of Poisson distribution is if x is a discrete random variable with the probability mass function that is p of x is equal to e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power x divided by x factorial. Here x takes the value 0, 1, 2 up to infinity and here lambda is always positive then x is a Poisson variate and the distribution of x is Poisson distribution. Okay. Next let us see the features of Poisson distribution. In that first one we know that parameter of Poisson distribution is parameter of Poisson distribution is lambda. Then second one is the range of Poisson distribution is x is equal to 0, 1, 2 up to infinity. Next PMF of Poisson distribution is P of x is equal to e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power x divided by x factorial. Then x takes the value 0, 1, 2 up to infinity and here lambda is always positive. Next. Okay, see here parameter of Poisson distribution is lambda. Then what is mean of Poisson distribution? Here mean of Poisson distribution is lambda itself because here parameter of Poisson distribution is lambda. Then variance of Poisson distribution is that is v of x is equal to lambda. Then what is standard deviation? We know the formula of standard deviation that is square root of variance of x. Here variance of x is lambda. So standard deviation is square root of lambda. Next, see here mean is lambda. Mean of Poisson distribution is lambda. Then variance of Poisson distribution is lambda. Then what is the relation between mean and variance in Poisson distribution? Here the relationship between mean and variance that is mean is equal to variance because here mean is also lambda and variance also lambda. Okay, next point is if lambda is not integer, okay, if lambda is not integer 
then Poisson distribution is unimodal. Okay, if lambda is not integer, then Poisson distribution is unimodal. Here, integral part of value is taken as unimodal value. Okay, for example, here lambda value is not integer in the sense what lambda is equal to, for example, lambda is equal to 2.5. Here 2.5 is not integral value. Next, if lambda is equal to 5.3, okay, here 5.3 is not integer value. Okay, if 5 is well, lambda is equal to 5, here 5 is integer. Okay, in this case, integral part of lambda is unimodal value. So here integral part of lambda is 2. So lambda is equal to 2 is the mode, or here lambda is equal to 5 is the unimodal value. So here if lambda is not integer then integral part of lambda is unimodal value. This is the sixth point. Then seventh point is if lambda is integer, if lambda is integer then Poisson distribution is bimodal model then two models are bimodal in the sense two uni means single see here bi means two so two models are one is lambda minus one and another one is lambda okay for example what is integer if lambda is equal to eight here eight is integer value if lambda is equal to seven here seven is integer value then what are the bi models one is lambda minus one so if for example if lambda is equal to 8 then what is the first model lambda minus 1 that is lambda minus 1 is 8 minus 1 that is 7 the one more is lambda only so that is 8 so one model is 7 another one is 8 okay for example if lambda is equal to 7 what are the models one is lambda minus 1 that is 6 one is lambda that is 7 itself Next eighth point, here Poisson distribution is positively skewed. That is beta 1 greater than 0. Next feature is Poisson distribution is leptocurtic. That is beta 2 greater than 0. 3. Okay, next the last point is if lambda is large, if lambda is large, then Poisson distribution tends to normal distribution. Okay, if lambda is large, then Poisson distribution tends to normal distribution. These are the important feature of Poisson distribution. Thank you for watching this video.